couple of fans. Oh, I don't need a backup bone. <laughs> well, um, I just want to let you know that, uh, let me see, what time is it? 5.48, okay. I don't want to overrun the video time this time. I want to keep it low this time. So, uh, I just want you to ask me some questions for now. I'm sure the comments of the songs I made today. And uh, it don't have to be anything about the song I sang or how much you like that song or what. It's just a question. If you got some more questions, you can ask me. Uh, pretty soon, I'm gonna learn how to do live streaming and have uh, Michael, my older son, adopted son, bring back my camera so I could use it for a sync stamp. This costs a lot of money for me every year to to get a sync stamp. And uh, I'd let me remind you, all you guys out there and ladies, uh, karaoke is for free on YouTube. I don't know why you don't use it. Maybe you're scared and don't want to be laughed at or you're just too shy. But you know, it takes a while to get over being shy and go public like I did. After all, I'm 75 years old. What have I got to lose if you guys are going to laugh me off the screen? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing really. I'm not sitting in an old age home telling, asking, talking to some old ladies trying to play peanut or something like that. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, anyway, they're going to let me allow a live stream anyway. That song, one of you fans asked me, got me copyrighted, and they took that uh, streaming away from me for another three months, but they removed it. And don't ask me to do some stupid song that I don't even know and get a copyright strike against my ass. You almost ruined me for another three months. Something about um, silhouettes or something uh, alone. Some stupid song I made it December 26th. I already moved it. They said remove it and not can remove the copyright strike. But they already removed it anyway, so I don't even know. One of your fans made that request you got me in a big shit with a lot of trouble with the copywriters and YouTube. Please don't make requests unless you know that they are safe. But it's not your fault. All these rules and everything. Who's a goddamn lawyer anyway? Who knows all the answers to all these questions? Anyway, um, I don't know why we moved here. I moved here to help my wife so she wouldn't have to drive an hour each way to go to work. And what she does, what does she do? She tells those people she's going to come in and teach for the day and never shows her ass up. So what the hell am I going to do here? If she ever lets me out of the house, uh, uh, it's going to be an extra 12 miles to drive after having a few drinks on the way home, that's not too good. I can get in a car accident. It's too far to drive. It takes me a whole gosh damn almost an hour to get to my favorite karaoke place in the heart of Jacksonville. The best place to go is by the ocean. That's where Ron uh, is the DJ, a bald headed guy. He's about Six feet tall, very muscular looking. You wouldn't want to get in a fight with him. But uh, he, uh, he is the smartest DJ in the city, and he has all my songs. The second best here is over at the, uh, actually in this town, um, Orange Park, local pub. You've probably seen it at the screen behind me. Uh, singing songs and the crowd cheering. Uh, it's the older people that go there and uh, it's a nice club and uh, uh, Heather, the DJ over there, the lady, she doesn't sing or get up and dance or anything but she has a lot of music people, a lot of music. She's almost as good as Ryan. She has about 90% of Ryan's music. Ryan has a uh, close to 100% of my music. 
they have every sing song that you can dream of. Now the worst DJ you can go to is uh, Don. A guy named, no not Don, Tom. T-O-M. <laughs> Excuse me. But um, he uh, runs two clubs around here. Uh, Park Billers, which is down the road. Oh, about well, it used to be about half an hour from Old House, and then whenever we to across the Big St. John's River, it takes you five minutes to cross that guy's damn river, people. It's wide. That's at 65 miles an hour. Five minutes. Anyway, he works down in uh, Mandarin, the biggest karaoke club in the area. That's not Jacksonville. It's Mandarin. You know those little cans of oranges you buy at the store? The one with the little oranges in it that says Mandarin on it? That's where they come from! Mandarin! It's on the other side of the St. Charles River from here. That's going east toward the ocean. Anyway, that's the biggest karaoke place there is. But, being big doesn't always mean better. If you like to say, you're lucky. You're the luckiest man in the world if you get two songs all fucking night. That means from 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock in the morning, if you get two songs in, you're doing good. Because everybody there wants to sing. And it don't matter how good or how bad you are, your number is up when he says it's up. You could be the best singer in town and still only get two songs in one night. That's the way it works. It doesn't matter how good you are. You have to treat everybody that comes in there fairly. That's how karaoke works. I don't, I'm not complaining. But if you want to go where there's a lot of people to hear your singing all at once, that's the place to go. But uh, Tom, he's very slow in getting up-to-date music. Sure, he's got music from 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years back. But he doesn't have anything from the last five years. He has nothing. He's scared to death of YouTube. He won't get any songs from them. He said, oh no. I'm not getting any songs from them people. They're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> But, you know, it takes all kinds. But, uh, what the hell am I going to do here now? My wife lost her fucking job. All the trouble moving out here. It, uh, it was only one time I came home here from the hospital and went here to my prison cell up here in the towers in my apartment. I call it prison. And my wife won't let me out. She's still listening to that stupid ass hospital that told her, oh, don't let John go anywhere for a whole week. Keep him home. You should not be driving a car. She's listening to the fucking rules that fucking crazy ass hospital gave her. The same hospital that insisted, oh, John, you can't go home without a uh, a, a penis job, you have to get something on your penis to make sure you don't wet the floor. <sighs> Stupid motherfuckers. I, I would like to take and strangle that nurse to put that penis thing on me and watch her suffer like she made me suffer for days. The only relaxation I can get is to lay down and keep the pain from coming back. Pain all day long. Pain when I'm trying to sit down and relax. Pain when I'm trying to sit up and watch the TV. Pain when I'm walking over to the kitchen and get something to drink or eat. Pain. Some pain is so bad, you just want to scream out loud. Is that a way to live after going home from a hospital? Why did you have to do that penis job on me? I never spilled one little splatter of urine on their hospital floor. I always got to come back and grab them in time and never got the sheets dirty or nothing. Why did that lady have to put that penis thing on me? 
Is that what they tell her at the hospital? She said, oh, don't blame that lady. She's just doing her job. Who am I gonna blame? And don't tell me they gave me so much medicine and it made me insane. You guys don't trust me. I gave you good music all those 10 years and you guys don't believe me. I'm not insane from all that medicine that it gave me. And why, I'm telling you, ask you guys why they did couldn't put that thing in my nose for, for oxygen and don't ask any questions. Why did they want to slap that horrible mask on my face and it hurt my face? It really squeezed it the hell out of it. For, and then I asked my wife, why did you want to use that thing for anyway? She said, oh, that was for oxygen. I said, why did you, why did they just give me the plastic tube like a normal person and put oxygen in my nose? Why? No. Those dirty scoundrels, you know what they did? They put those boxing gloves on my hands, those methods. And I couldn't touch anything. They were trying to drive me insane. They had control of my mind. And the food there, people, I'm telling you, hospital food is not the greatest, but this place is the worst hospital I ever ate at. The food there is terrible. How are you supposed to get healthy eating that stuff? It tastes like sand in my mouth. And sometimes they took those dentures off my mouth, and I, I had nothing to eat with. My mouth was so sore without trying to eat with my lower dentures that I, I couldn't barely even speak. My mouth was sore as a hell. And you're telling me I should listen to those stupid hospital creeps? Can't you believe even one person in the world, your friend, your singer for you, your, your long and loving friend, Johnny D, who loves every one of you, my fans. Can't you believe one word that I say? I'm not crazy, but if I said to stay there another week, I would be going to the mental home for a mental asylum. They would drive me crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna cut off now, but um, on good tone, I'm gonna learn how to do uh, streaming not because I just want to get more involved with you fans unless you ask questions. Sure, I'll have to read men over and look at your questions and talk at the same time. That's going to be taking some getting used to. But at least uh, we'll give it a try and see what happens. I'll have my uh, wife, uh, Helen, train me a little bit and hopefully I can do good. And they'll have to ask. You know, Michael have to give me back that little camera he's got. So I need it for my uh, Sync Snap karaoke. I can't make videos with somebody in Australia or Ch China or Japan or the Philippines without it. Or any, her, anywhere across Canada or the United States or Great Britain or England or France or Germany or Italy or Sweden with poor PewDiePie those. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, I'll let you go. It's already 6 one I'm sure it's been over about, about 15 minutes. So, uh, goodbye now. I hope, maybe I'll put one more song on tonight. I don't want to bore you too much, but I'm so happy to be back home singing for you. Goodbye now. Um, I still haven't got out and got that gosh damn Bud Light beer yet. I'm really getting thirsty. Somebody asked me to do a peanut colada, and I said, I wish I could have a peanut colada right now. And have a bartender and serve me one up. Boy, would well, that be just delicious. Oh, it's a great world out there, people. So hang on. Just give me some time to get better, though. But, uh, well, good night now. I love you all. All 192,000 of you. Goodbye.